All right, so um, I showed how I made this in the last video, but there's a problem with it. Uh, as I said in the last video, all of these are wired in parallel. These 30 LEDs are wired in parallel, and these two are wired in series um, behind the uh, behind these 30 that are wired in parallel. So these collectively are wired in series behind these two. Um, the running light works, works fine, which is all of these 30 ones behind the one resistor, uh, that little blue resistor right there. But, um, so that's on this um, black and orange wires, the running light. Brake light is black and blue, and that these two wired, uh, <coughs> these two wired in, um, in series behind these 30. The problem with that is there's no resistor behind this if when it's set up like this. And what that did um, is it gave each of the LEDs more voltage, which I expected. More voltage means a brighter LED, and it also means more risk at blowing. I didn't think it would blow this fast. It actually blew the cap clear off of this LED right here, the first one, or the, I guess the last one that goes back into the um, into the into the wire. It just blew it. Um, here's the cap actually, right here. So that's not good. Um, that means I kind of have to scrap this altogether. My plans are to add columns, um, either four columns of five in between these lights, in between these little LEDs, um, and separate them from these which is going to be hard because I, I I didn't expect this I mean these are going to be this is going to be pretty crazy um, I might have to put another circuit board the same size as this one on top of this on the on the back and completely seal off uh, these LEDs so that I can solder in the other ones on top I, I'll, I'll figure something out I don't want to do that because if one of these blows it's done um, the running light won't work at all and I'll have to remake this whole thing so that's not good uh, so yeah my plan is to wire in um, completely separate a completely separate LED system all wired in parallel um, in between all of these which is going to be crazy hard um, just to keep the soldering away from you know these guys I might just cover it with some little electrical tape strips or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll figure something out. I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, I ordered some more LEDs, some yellow ones. Oh, these are these are 18,000 MCD. Um, MCD is millicandle, and that's the brightness of the LED. The ones I have on the way are yellow ones, and they're 12,000. Uh, the brightest ones I could find that were yellow. 12,000 is uh, the number goes up. The brighter it's a millicandle, um, so 12,000 millicandles. And you can see my tail light. I've taken the lens off. I stuck it in the oven, uh, 200 degrees. Found some guys online talking about how to do it. So 200 degrees um, in the in the oven. After my oven heated up, I put it in. It was uh, five minutes at a time. I took it out after five minutes, and I pried away from the edges, and then uh, put it back in and then let it heat up again and then pry it a little bit more um, there is some caution with that diffuser lens here has a risk of um, warping if you do something like that so uh, yeah. but my plan, the reason I took this apart is because well one, I want to get this guy out because I don't want this diffuser lens at all. I'm going to have a whole LED circuit board um, right there. So the LED circuit board is going to be going straight across and that's going to be my turn signals. Um, same thing for this. I'm going to take this little backup light diffuser lens out. I've already sanded this down a little bit. I borrowed my friend's Dremel so that I've got to go buy a bit so I can sand it down some more. But I, I did this with sandpaper. I started out with uh, 320 grit, moved up to 1000 grit, and moved up to 200 grit, and then I used a polishing compound, a rubbing compound, to rub, um, to make it clear. And if you look, if you try to look through it 
there's my TV over there. You can kind of see a little bit of a picture of the brightness of the TV. And then you look through this one, you can't see it at all. Through this one, you see the outline of the TV. Through that one, you can't see it at all. So um, I'm going to make this clear, just like that clear lens. And I'm just going to get rid of the diffuser lens altogether. I need something more than sandpaper to do it. So these I'm going to cut into thin strips, uh, probably like about an inch and a half, maybe an inch of just, you know, like cutting off the side and then just wiring in LEDs, all my yellow LEDs, wire them in in uh, parallel. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, it's going to be nice when it's done because the diffuser lens is taken out for the turn signals, and the backup light's going to be the same way. These actually came in the mail; they're a little bit warped, <laughs> but that's fine because it, it 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 matches the contour of the of the the, the tail light perfectly. Um, a little bit of oh yeah, a little bit of caution. When I did sit my tail lights in the oven while I was prying them out, um, they started to cool off and. I kept prying, and it was so close to coming out, I kept prying, and these, it's actually not that important, it's not like, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't a, a really, it's a, the whole tail light, still intact, thing that broke off was that little corner piece there, so it's supposed to have a little shelf that sticks out, right there, that's what broke off, I'm going to glue it back in, and uh, yeah, um, well, with all that said, I didn't have to cut the back off of this, so <laughs> I'll, I don't know, I'll put some other plastic over it so that it's uh, so it looks better when you take it off. But I didn't. I started thinking about other ways to do it because I mean these actually go into the. If I cut this housing off here, uh, to put the the way I was going before was cutting that one off that my pinky is on, um, I would have had to cut this off and I wouldn't have had a way to mount it. So I stopped myself and started thinking about other ways to do it and that's when I looked up ways to, to do it by taking the lens off of the the light so in a little bit I'm going to show the lens sanded down um, complete and uh, yeah so as I said I borrowed my friend's Dremel I've been working on that right there you're probably looking at that thinking what is he doing um, I'm actually making it clear uh, let me show you the before and after, I guess. So this is, this little flashlight is about the same brightness as my, um, it's a little LED flashlight. It's actually a bicycle light, I found it on the road, it still worked. <laughs> so it fell off somebody's bicycle. But anyway, this is what, this is awesome. So that's, you know, that's it through the diffuser. And there's after it goes past the diffuser, diffuser part of the lens. So it's it's actually pretty. Uh, there's a really big difference on the LEDs. I'm sure you can't really see on the camera. I'm sure because it's blurring all the lights together. But you can see uh, the difference between the lights. You can actually see the three LEDs through the lens, through the part of the diffuser lens that I've made clear. Uh, and you can kind of you can see stuff through it. I still have to smooth it out. I just kind of went over with the Dremel and. But I mean, yeah, you can see files on my computer um, through the lens. So it only took about, uh, eh, let me think. What did I do? I think it took maybe 20 minutes with the Dremel on this little spot. And uh, about five, about five minutes sanding. Started off with a little 320 grit sandpaper. So 320 grit moved up to a thousand and then moved up from a thousand to two thousand and after that this little polishing compound uh, you can get it at Napa this stuff I've had this I had a bottle I just ran out I had it for like six years this stuff lasts so long um, I was actually starting to separate it, kind of still had to shake it up and use it some, but I just bought another one. Uh, they sell them at the Toyota dealerships and uh, other stuff, but yeah, eventually this whole thing is going to be clear. So it's all going to be like that. It's just going to be clear red, and this uh, this diffuser lens is actually, the whole plastic is, is it's clear red, so it doesn't matter how deep I sand. Uh, yeah, but as I said, it took about maybe 20 minutes working with it and the Dremel in that one little spot and about five minutes 
polishing so you expect to probably spend a couple hours doing this but after it's done it's gonna be nice with the LED tail lights but this is gonna take me months to do I'm sure just a little bit of time here and there at night but that's uh yeah that's that's it